Okay, so basically what we did, um, well, some of you guys actually missed the lesson, was um, I kind of just went through this whole process of how to find the area of this particular triangle. All right, so just to give you guys a bit of a rundown. Now, the first thing to realize is this, with this triangle, that it, it's, it's not a right angle triangle. All right, this is not a right angle triangle, so you can't just go half times base times height and just be done with it. All right, so we've got our three points, which is A, B, and C. Now, if you want to find the area of this triangle, what you're going to need is you're going to have to decide which one is going to be the base. Now, I've decided that this part here is going to be the base. All right, if that's the base, then the height for me in this triangle is going to be right there, from, from point B to the base of the triangle. Now, this point where they meet, this point right here, I'm just going to rename that as point D. So these are the things that I'm going to need to try and solve this problem. All right. The first thing is, because I'm trying to find the base, which means I need to find distance of AC. All right. I need to find what the gradient of AC is. So that's this line here, the AC part right there. Once I get the uh, gradient, I need the equation of AC. Then, using the gradient of AC, I can actually work out what uh, BD's gradient is. All right, because this is what we did yesterday. We know that uh, we can actually say gradient of BD is actually negative 1 divided by gradient of AC. Because that's what we did yesterday when it's perpendicular lines. All right. And once we get that, we also need equation of BD because when we put equation of BD equals equation of AC, this is what we use to try and figure out where D is. All right, so this is where we put the two equations equal to each other to try and work out the point D. Once we have point D, we can actually work out what the distance of BD is. Okay, distance of BD is the height. And the distance of AC is the base. Okay, and once you have that, then you can actually work out what the area is. Because area is half times base times height. So what we need to do is kind of work through each one of these elements one at a time. Now, the reason I've given you guys all these steps is that it kind of get, gets you into a little, uh, just guides you guys into how to actually solve this problem. All right, we got nine minutes to try and do this problem. I'm going to try and do this in nine minutes, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what distance of AC is. So distance of AC, so that's going to be, what are my two points? My A was... Was it 3, 5? And C, 15, 10. So then I've got uh, 10 minus 5 squared plus 15 minus 3 squared. Uh, I'm just going to kind of skip through the steps, guys, because I'm, you know, like I know that this equals to 13. So you guys were okay with that, right? The distance of AC being 13. Okay, so that means we've actually figured out what base is. Base is actually 13. Now we need to figure out what the height is. Okay. So we've actually figured out what base is. So that's what base right there. We've actually figured out that it's 13. We need to work out the height. But to work out the height, we've got to do all these other extra steps as well. So I'm going to work out what the gradient of AC is. So gradient of AC is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which means I've got 10 minus 5 divided by 15 minus 3, and my gradient is 5 over 12. Okay, next step, I need to work out what the equation of AC is. So for this, I'm going to put down y equals mx plus c. And I need to choose one point. I'm going to choose point A, which is 3, 5. So then what I have is 5 equals 5 over 12 times 3 plus c. So 5 is 15 over 12 plus c. Now you guys would have actually worked in decimal points. That's absolutely fine. All right. Um, if you were working in decimal points, I think when we up to here, well, 15 divided by 12 is 1.25 plus C, and then C is equal to 5 minus 1.25, which is 3.75. Is that okay so far? Mm -hmm. 
So we've got our equation. Our equation is y is equal to 5 over 12x plus 3.75. Now that's the equation of AC. Okay? Now we need to... So let's go back and have a look what have we done so far. We've actually worked out what the gradient of AC is. We've done E of AC. We've done D of AC. The next step is to find the gradient of the green line. And for that, it's negative 1 over MAC. So we're going to go here. And we're going to put down gradient of BD is negative 1 over gradient of AC. Now gradient of AC, that's 5 over 12. That's what gradient of AC is. So we're going to rewrite this as negative 1 divided by 5 over 12. So in your calculator, negative 1 divided by 5 over 12 should end up with negative 2.4. All right? So the next step, so if we go back, we got to work out what the equation of the green line is. So the equation of the green line, well, we already know we, we've got everything that we need. Equation of the green line, so that was BD. We know the gradient, and we know, the, we know one of the points as well. Because if we go back, we can see that the green line is actually going through, it's actually going through point B. So that's the point I'm going to use. So the point B was 414. So I'm going to write this as 14 equals negative 2.4 times 4 plus C. which gives me negative uh, 9.6 plus C, and then C is equal to 23.6. So my equation is Y equals negative 2.4X plus 23.6. We're okay with this so far, yes? Yeah? Now you guys have done so much of the work already. All right? Now the next part, we put these two equations equal to each other. Because when we put these two equations equal to each other, so this is AC and BD, we actually find the point D, so where, where it actually meets. So all I got to do is I've got to put this equation equal to this equation. So I'm getting 5 over 12x plus 3.75 equals negative 2.4x plus 23.6. So rearranging this, I'm going to get rid of... 3.75 first. So I got 5 over 12x equals negative 2.4x. I got 23.6 minus 3.75. I'm hoping I'm on the right track here, guys. So just please yell out if I'm not. 19.5, 19.85. Then I've got to get rid of the negative. So it's going to be plus 2.4x. Now, because you're working with your calculator, you can just don't need to worry about like, just go 5 over 12 plus 2.4. And as a fraction, let me see what you get. Okay, I don't want to work with a fraction, it just looks ugly. I'm just going to work with 2.81x. Just going to round it up a bit. Actually 2.87x. 19.85 and then divide both sides by 2.817 so I should get 7.047 so if I go back to my line here what it's saying sorry not here and you can actually kind of check it okay so if I have a look at it so that's one two three four five six seven so it's somewhere between 7 and 8. So that's how I know I'm actually on the right track here. Okay? So, but I need, I need the, the y value of d. I've got the x value of d, but I need the y value of d. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 7 point. So I'm going to take d, which is 7.047. But the problem is I don't know what the y value is. But what I do know is I could use either equation. I could use equation of ac or... BD. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use equation of AC because that's nice numbers. And equation of AC is here. Where is it? Right there. So that's the equation I'm going to use. So I've got y equals to 5 over 12x plus 3.75. 
So I substitute 7.047 in it plus 3.75 and what I get is uh, plus 3.75 I got 6.686 now I'm gonna go back and have a look at my diagram does that actually make sense 6.8 something so if you look at it uh, this is 6 this is 7 and I can see that D is somewhere between 6 and 7 so again that's another way for me to check that I'm actually doing the right thing okay I've got D now which means D's point here is 7.047 and 6.686 and then B was 4 and 14. So now I can use these two points to work out what the height of the triangle is. Okay, because that's what I need to do. So then distance of BD is square root of whatever this is, 6.68 minus 14 squared plus 7.047 minus 4 squared okay and when you guys do this just give me a second uh, we got square root of uh, answer minus 14 squared plus 7.047 uh, just hear me out of this is this on the right track 7.922 somewhere around there you got, what did you guys get for your area? It was a 51 something, right? Okay, let's see what we get for the area. So this was the height there, guys. So remember, so now we can say area equals half times base times height. We also know that base was distance of AC and the height was distance of BD. So we got a half times 13 times 7.922. Have I done something wrong there? Oh no, I know what I did wrong. Times 13 times 0.5. Ah, oh, sorry. Let me just do this quickly. 51.5 is what I get as the area. Okay, guys, so that is basically it. All right, guys, that's basically it for this little session. Thank you for watching.